welcome back to my channel thank you so much to everybody that has been supporting me um, if you haven't yet subscribed then do click the little subscription button and it will keep you up to date with everything I have going on today's video is a product review and it's of this product here which is a cougar snake venom eye serum and it's a wrinkle killer apparently now what you're about to see next is me um, I filmed the beginning of this with a view to come back and obviously once I've used it come back and tell you my thoughts on it on it however I started this as 15 mil I started the 2nd of August and today is the 23rd of December so it has been going and going and going for ages so the next thing you're going to see is me introducing my channel again <laughs> and telling you about this hey guys welcome back to my channel uh, today's video is a eye cream test i say test review um this is another one that's going to probably last god knows how many days because this is 15 mil so this is the largest um eye cream that i've used um and we'll be doing the kind of see the results so day the cream itself is the cougar and it's snake venom eye serum so it kills lines and wrinkles it's a big big statement so it says apply a small amount onto the fingertips gently begin to massage the product into the eye area um so i've recently received a cougar box a mystery one for my birthday um, and this was in it i thought great i love a good eye cream so it's made in the uk it's cruelty free um, not tested on animals and um, I haven't really come across a lot of their products before my very good friend uh, Lynn um, all things beauty she does quite a lot of unboxings on her channel she loves the brand so I thought I would give it a go and see what it's about so it looks like this it's like a little pump um, it is 15 mil so it's a apply a generous amount of the serum onto cleanse skin um, and obviously <coughs> this could last me ages um so i'll be back on in between to kind of show you my progress and then do a chat at the end and see what i think so at the moment what have we got a bit of dark circles lack of sleep children um and smile lines here um it's not very it's not too bad it's still um, I stopped using the Dermalogica that I used and that kind of felt like it was tightening everything up. So it is a bit more slack, I think. It feels a bit slack. Right. Get a mirror for this. You can see my putting cream on face, which is like something like that. <laughs> so a generous amount. Now, I've not used this before, so I might have to give it some good pumps to kind of get it out. Come on, come on should have really um done that beforehand and then you'd have to sit here waiting for me to pump it onto my hand try that's really thick okay it'll get there <laughs> at this rate i might have to pause you and come back I'm gonna pause you hello literally as soon as I pause you it's out it is really thick look at that it's like a gel that's the thickest thing I've ever seen apart from myself okay Ooh, I like the fact it's clear as well so you've seen me do it before oh it's really thick It's like wallpaper paste. Oh, see through. It is like a really thick gel. I quite like the consistency of it, you know. Um, I think, I don't know, I think the thicker a cream, for me, the thicker something is, I think in my own mind, I tend to think that it works better. So I'm going to do round here as well because... Why not? We don't want wrinkly eyelids. I've got a little bit left. So, 
first impression's really good. Really good, actually. Like I said, I haven't really heard a lot about the brand um, or how good its products are. Doesn't really have a smell. But I've just put face cream on, so I could be smelling that. But yeah, really impressed for the first go. We shall see what follows. But I'm going to be using that every day. And it's quite a handy little size. And once the pump got going, it worked fine. So, fab. See you soon. So, um, as you can see, blonde now instead of brown. And hopefully you can see I have lost two stone since reviewing that. Although you can only see my face really on videos. So I suppose it's really hard to tell. But I've been using this for probably now, what, nearly five months? I started on the 2nd of October. 2nd of August it is the 23rd of December so it's lasted ages now I have good points and bad points with this my good point is the formula I really really liked it I don't know if I can get any out to show you because I've literally been scraping it to get it out um it's a gel so it's a it's a see-through gel gives me a see-through gel and it's gone on really, really well, really well. Now, in my bedroom, in the mornings I've been waking up, it's been pretty cold. Um, and I've really, really liked it, really liked it. I've always used eye um, creams rather than gels. So um, I found a gel was a bit more absorbent. It went on really well. It was absorbed really quickly. Um, yeah, so for me, I really like the formula. Um wrinkle killer hmm. so i still have my really deep set smile lines hate them may i add um it did nothing for them I, they've not made them any it's not gone any bigger but it's not reduced either so it didn't kill them now i haven't got any more wrinkles anywhere now i'm not saying it's this because I don't know whether I was supposed to get wrinkles in the last four or five months, but I haven't got any more wrinkles. Um, and I can't say whether that's down to this or not. What I can say is that I really, like I say, I like the formula, I like the way it's absorbed. This is $18.99 um, on the Cougar website. I was sent it for a mystery box. For the formula and the way it is, I would pay that. But for me, the big turn down is the packaging. I know it sounds really, really snobby, but it's awful. It's like Fisher Price, my first eye cream. It's it's terrible. I am about to start a new one, which is the Icelandic Relief Eye Cream, Skyne, S K Y N E. You know, it looks like an eye cream. It's packaged well. I, I yeah. I'm not impressed. Now I'm currently, I think it's across the Cougar range, I'm currently using um, their Rose Gold, oh, their Rose Gold, the Goddess Glow Facial Serum, it's 30ml. It has been lovely. It's that nice that I'm literally on dregs. <sighs> and it is now being sat on my um, desk with like three bottles trying to keep it up because it doesn't stand up on its lid very well but look at the packaging again it's like children's ball bath it's awful i just i don't know whether they're spending more money on the products and not enough on the packaging i just don't think it's the prettiest packaging i've ever seen and you know when you buy something when you eat something when you look at you know when you you wear something you're looking at it with all your senses what do you see what do you hear how does it feel you know so for me i'm not keen on the packaging at all i like the logo and the black and the stickers fine it's the actual bottles themselves and i've found that across i'm using two of the products in that line yeah so it's a mixed review formula wise i really liked it i found an eye gel better than an eye cream it wasn't a wrinkle killer it killed no wrinkles look at them they're still here i'm going to try and put a before and after photo up now ish so you can kind of see if there's any difference well i hope you have enjoyed this video um i am back 
doing my eye cream reviews the next one will be this which is what i've just said the icelandic relief eye cream um skine so it's four grams here and it's like a cream um when i had a little look at it it's kind of like moussey it, it looks really good so well like comment subscribe and stay tuned for more bye